Let's now solve this tricky number theory problem that has a cool solution. Uh, one of the following numbers is not divisible by any prime number less than 10. Which one is it? Prime number less than 10. Well, we know that there are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So what we'll do is we'll check each of these primes individually, and we'll see which ones are divisible by each. So we're essentially going to use the process of elimination. Okay, firstly, are any of these divisible by 2? Well, they're all powers of 2 minus 1, powers of 2 plus 1. I mean, all of these terms are a power of 2 plus or minus 1. And a power of 2 is even 1 is odd. When you add them up, you get an odd number. Similarly, this term is a 3 to the power of something, which is odd, and 2 to the power of something even. So the sum is odd. So none of these are divisible by 2. What about 3? Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. So the key thing here is we've got a lot of powers of 2. So let's explore the exponent cycles for 2. 2 to the 0 is 1 mod 3. 2 to the 1 is 2 mod 3. 2 squared is 3, or 2 squared is uh, 1 mod 3 again. 2 squared is 4, which is 1 mod 3. 2 cubed is 2 times 1, so 2 mod 3. And as you can see, we've got a cycle. It's 2, 1, 2, or 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, so on. So let's explore and see if any of these are divisible by 3. Okay, so 2 to the power of 606. 606 is even. So as you can see here, all the even numbers are 1 mod 3, and all the odd numbers are 2 mod 3, because it cycles every 2. So 606 is even. This will be 1 mod 3. 1 mod 3 minus 1 is 0 mod 3. So it is divisible by 3. We can cross off A. 2 to the power of 606 plus 1. Well, again, we know 2 to the 606 is 1 mod 3. So when you add it to 1, you get 2 mod 3. So this is not divisible by 3. So we don't know yet whether it is divisible by a prime less than 10. What about 2 to the 607 minus 1? 607, odd. So this is going to be 2 mod 3. And then 2 mod 3 minus 1 is 1 mod 3. So this is not divisible by 3. We can't cross it out. 2 to the 607 plus 1. Well, again, this part, this term right here, 2 to the power of 607 is 2 mod 3. So when you add 1, it becomes a power of 3, or a multiple of 3. So we can cross off this choice as well. We're already eliminated two choices. Now we have to eliminate two more. Now let's look at 5. Oh, and by the way, before I mention, this term right here, well, 3 to the 607 is obviously a multiple of 3. And 2 to the 607 is 2 mod 3. So 2 mod 3 plus basically a number that's 0 mod 3 is 2 mod 3. So E also still remains. So going back to 5, well, now let's explore mod 5, 2 to the powers. 2 to the 0 is 1 mod 5. 2 to the 1 is 2 mod 5. 2 squared is 4 mod 5. And 4 is just negative 1 mod 5, right? 2 cubed is negative 2 mod 5. And then 2 to the 4 is negative 4, which goes back to 1 mod 5. Because negative 4 is the same as 1 mod 5. So as you can see, this time it cycles every 4. And if you wanted to, you could have written this as 4 and 3, maybe we'll write it that way so it's a little bit less confusing, but it's essentially the same thing whether you write it with 4 and 3 or negatives. And sorry, I was blocking, but over there you can see it cycles. 2 to the 0 is 1 mod 5, 2 to the 1 is 2 mod 5, 2 squared is 4 mod 5, 2 cubed is 3 mod 5, and 2 to the 4 is 1 mod 5. And then it cycles. So every 4 it cycles. Let's look at, I mean, we've We've already eliminated two of them, so we don't really need to look at them. Let's look at the other ones, mod 5. Let's erase all the mod 3 writing. 
So we can look at mod 5 now. Okay, 2 to the 6, so 6 plus 1. So as you can see, it cycles every 4. So we need to look for where will 606 lie in the cycle. 606 is leaves the remainder of 2 when divided by 4. So it will be lying, it will be the same thing as 2 squared, which is 4 mod 5, right? Because we cycle every 4. And 606 leaves the same remainder as 2 when divided by 4. So this will be equal to 2 to the 606 is 4 mod 5. And then plus 1 becomes 5 mod 5, which is a multiple of 5. So we can cross that out. 2 to the 607 minus 1. 2 to the 607 leaves a remainder of 3 when divided by 4. So it's the same as 2 cubed mod 5, which is equal to 3. So this is 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 equals 2 mod 5. And I just wrote n there for short. Okay, so we already eliminated one of them. We've already eliminated three of them. What about this one over here? 2 to the 607 plus 3 to the 607. 2 to the 607 is, well, let's write it here. Is again, we found earlier 2 mod, or 3 mod 5, because it's, it's the same as 2 cubed mod 5. And notice a clever trick here. 3 to the 607 is the same thing as negative 2 to the 607. Because 607 is, well, or 3 is the same as negative 2 mod 5. And this is just negative 1 to the 607 times 2 to the 607, which is just negative 2 to the 607. That's negative 3 or 2 mod 5. So if we add them up, 2 plus, or 3 plus 2, that's 0 mod 5. So we're only left with e. And just to make sure, let's check that this is not divisible by 7. Okay, so 2, we, let's look at that powers mod 7. Let's just erase, let's make this part small. So 7 is a very similar situation here. We're going to again look at the digit cycles and see if we can find a pattern. 2 to the 0 is 1 mod 7. 2, 1 is 2 mod 7. 2 squared, 4 mod 7. And 2 cubed is 8, but 8 is the same thing as 1 mod 7. So 2 cubed is just 1 mod 7. And as you can see, it cycles every 3. So 2 to the 607, well 607 leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 5. Or, or 1 when divided by 3. So 2 to the power of 607 will be the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 mod 7. We can erase all this mod 5 stuff. This will be... Well, 2 to the 607 is just, like I said, 2 to the 1 mod 7. So 2 minus 1, which is 1 mod 7. So indeed, this is not divisible by any prime, less than 10. So we box our answer, C. To summarize, the key idea was to look at each of the primes, 2, 3, 5, and 7, and check which ones don't work and which ones do work. And we, we just did a little bit of elimination, and we found that C is the last one standing. Thanks for watching.